Rainbow tables are fast and effective at cracking passwords because each password is hashed the same way. Hashes are in fact one-way functions. For example, if a hacker has a rainbow table with the hash of the password special player, any user that has the same password will have the same hash and his password will be cracked as well. Since most people use common passwords or reuse passwords, it makes cracking an easy process. To solve this issue, a salt is used. You can see here at crackstation.net that it can crack only non-salted hashes. Let's see what's the salt. Instead of computing and saving the hash of the password, the operating system will compute and save the hash of the password together with a salt. The salt is a randomly generated string for each password. The salt is not secret, just the password is. Let's take a look at the file that contains the hashes of the user's passwords in Linux. That's the shadow file from etc directory. This is an entry for a user and a password. This is the user. The number 6 is a code for the hash algorithm used. 6 means SHA-512. And then comes the salt. This is the salt until the dollar sign. And then comes the hash of the password and the salt until the colon sign, until this point. The salt is randomly generated for each password, but it's not secret like the password is. It is combined with the password and added to the hashing process to force the uniqueness of the output hash. In other words, the same password will give different hashes because of this random salt. This mitigate password attacks like rainbow tables. If a hacker has found the clear text password from the hash, all other passwords that are the same are still secure because their hash is different. I've shown you a real example of two users that have the same password but different hashes in a previous lecture where I've also explained in detail how Linux system stores the passwords. In fact, these are the users. User1 and User2 have the same password but different hashes saved in the shadow file. The hash is unique because the salt is unique. I'd recommend you to watch that video again if you feel the need. Thank you, that's all.